It's good for my ankle, I'll tell you that much. The nice guys over at uh, HTP America sent me a SSC foot pedal to fit on my Everlast Power TIG 255 EXT. And I thought, let me show you why I wanted to change it anyways. So this is the stock pedal. This is the original one that came with this, with this machine. And while it's got a nice big platform here, place to put your foot, and I got big feet, so this works just great for me. And it's got this nice little lip at the end of it, so you can kind of hook your foot right there, so your foot doesn't slide off. But there's no, uh, there's no non-skid on it, so your foot can slide off. The other reason that I wasn't happy with this pedal is that the amperage control is here. So what you'd wind up doing is you'd set the machine max amps, let's say, you know, or, or you know, let's say 100 amps. You set the machine to 100 amps max, and then you come over here and you can dial it in a little better over here as to how far you want it to go, you know, where they're with. It would be zero here, it would be whatever you set it at there, but you'd have to do it here. If all the adjustment is done right here rather than on the machine. With the SSC pedal, no knob. So everything is done over there. You set your max on the machine, and then you've got zero to whatever max is. That's a little sticky on it. Hey, that's great for filing your nails, too. And it's a little bit smaller. You know, it's smaller physically. It's a little closer to the ground. It's a little easier on your old knees. You know, a little easier on your ankle. You know, you know, I guess they weigh about the same. You know, maybe, you know, the SSC may weigh a little bit more, but the nice thing is it just hooks right up, get to work. Now the hookup on it's really easy, it just screws right in the front, into the control slot. The one thing you have to watch out for, at least with this machine, when you hook up the foot pedal, you can also still select. 2T or 4T. So make sure it's not in 4T foot pedal. That gets really exciting. <laughs> what happens? It keeps running. You know, you push the pedal, it'll start. You can sit there and play with it. You let go of the pedal, it doesn't shut off. You have to hit the pedal again to get it to shut off. So just make sure you set it in pedal. Back. One of the cool things with the SFC pedal is a lot less spring tension. I mean, even though it's got a shorter, a shorter pedal than this one does, boy, it feels like about half of the spring tension of the stock pedal. Put your hand right at the bottom of it like your foot would be. And boy, you can't even just you can just barely even get that one to bend with your hand. A lot easier on your ankle, you know, especially when you're sitting there all day trying to pulse with it. You're sitting there welding with it. You know, gonna save the old ankle. We got the machine set up at 150 amps max. So start it from zero. We'll take it up and see what we get. But just to start it off at the bottom, you know, just give it a little press. Let's see how small of an arc we can get.
It's not bright and shiny anymore. It's been getting a lot of use around here. I think it's a good addition. You know, if, if you're ready to upgrade on a pedal, then they have them to fit your machine. You know, I, I think it's a good idea. So it took it took a really great machine, you know, the, the Everlast Power TIG 255 EXT. It took a really great machine and made it an even better machine. Really. So I'm gonna get back to work. And you guys gotta come out and find me on Facebook. Kevin Carone Artist. No. Nope. No? Nope. Carone Studios. Kevin Carone Studios. I don't even know where I am anymore. <laughs> you guys have fun. I'll see you next week.